And there they go. They're off and trotting wind chime between horses, Princess Caitlin. Followed by Deuce Francais, Mega Pint is now joining the early action as they trot down the backstretch. Moving up from between horses, Princess Caitlin is there by a half a length. Wind chime rolls up on the outside second. Followed by Mega Point along the rail. Moving up on the outside comes Joe Rebeck as they trot to the quarter mile pole. Flirting with the help is next. Followed by Stars over Dover and far back. Deuce Francais after that initial costly break. By the quarter, a moderate 29 and 2. They're in parade past the stands. Wind chime continues to lead the way. Princess Caitlin with a midfill for Yannick Gingra is now right on her helmet in second. Mega point stalking the leaders in third as they round the lower turn and trot to the half mile pole. Yo, Rebecca getting itchy now tips and rolls up on the outside, flirting with the help. Looking to catch some live cover after that with some work to do. Stars over Dover and Deuce Francais. And the Rio racing begins right now, 59 and 4, up the backstretch. Yo, Rebecca under a full head of steam. Wind chime holds her at bay for the time being as they continue down the backstretch. Wind chime trying to touch them all. Yo, Rebecca second. Princess Caitlin Cox locked and ready to rock. She's the pocket sitter. Moving up on the outside, flirting with the help. Dropping back, Mega Pint in the fifth. Stars over Dover sixth and Deuce Francais. They're by three quarters in 128 and three. They're into the stretch. Windshine, Princess Caitlin up on the far outside. Yo, Rebecca, but here is a rocking chair drive for Andy Miller. It is Windchime coast to coast. Princess Caitlin, yo, Rebecca, flirting with the help, Mega Pint. Stars over Dover and Deuce Francais in 156 and 3. And there they go. They're off and trotting to jumping the line, has jumped off stride prior to the start. Oh, oh, what a girl in love walks in. Una Madonna gaining quickly along the rail, really something to engage them on the far outside. Shopping in Paris is next. Don't let her in the far back trailer jumping the line. They are battling for position and scrambling for the lead as they trot to the opening quarter mile. Paul, and here is really something moving up on the outside to take over, and she will get the quarter call in 28 seconds flat. The tempo is brisk, trotting past the stands. Rayleigh something clears, love walks in. Una Madonna trying to get physical now from third. After that, oh, oh, what a girl is with the leaders in fourth. Shopping in Paris next, don't let her. And jumping the line trails the field, no change in position. Todd Warren is rolling right along. Rayleigh something will try to go the rest of the way on the front end. Up the back stretch in second comes Love Walks in with the leaders in third. Una Madonna, she's about ready to strike. And she has now set sail from the rail down the back stretch. Oh, oh, what a girl. Shopping in Paris. Don't let her is up on the outside. And far back, the trailer is jumping the line as they move in the three quarters and brushing to the front. Una Madonna has quickly assumed command. Trotting by three quarters in 127 and two around the far turn. Una Madonna continues to lead the way, trying to come back to six, really something. The others will fight for minor shares in here. They are deep into the stretch. It is Una Madonna who continues to lead. She's into the groove right now. It is Una Madonna. Really something. Love walks in. Uh oh, what a girl. Shopping in Paris, don't let her, and jumping the line seventh. It's all unofficial here. Wow, 155 and one. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Halakai between horses takes the lead. Southern Patricia and Las Alturas on the far outside. In between them comes Fuzzy Dice, bottle up along the rail, shoot. Chulata. Budika is next, and they scramble for a position. They're hub to hub in the early going as they trot to the quarter mile. Paul and Fuzzy Dice has emerged with the lead. 
Not for long here is Halakai up on the outside to take over. Halakai brushes to the front as they race by this opening quarter in 28 and 3. Halakai cuts this one out. Halakai by two. Fuzzy Dice tracking second, stalking third, Chulata. Followed by Budika in fourth. After that, the long shot, Southern Patricia and La Salturas will have to shake loose from the caboose. There's no change in position. Halakai, where he likes it best on the front end, is rolling right along. Halakai takes him past the half-mile pole. Fuzzy Dice is still stalking in second. 59 seconds flat. A little bit of a breather there for the trot setter. Halakai, who is going well. It is Halakai a length and a half. Fuzzy Dice is second by five. Chulata is in the third. Budika moves up on the outside. Southern Patricia and Las Alturas with a lot of work to do, and time is ticking away for her. Halakai trying to go all the way on the front end, continues to lead the way. Fuzzy Dice will not go away. Budika is uncovered. Chulata dropping back along the rail. Southern Patricia's in the center. Las Alturas is up on the far outside, off the turn, in the stretch, and they're on their way home. It's Halakai who continues to lead. He's getting tired. Fuzzy Dice is closing on the rail. He's going to reel her in. It is Fuzzy Dice, Halakai, Budika, Chilada, Los Alturas, and Southern Patricia. It's all unofficial here in 157-2. and two. They're off and pacing Cyclone Kiwi between horses. Clemson along the rail with Who's Your Chip. As they race down the back stretch, the old man grabs the racetrack. It is Cyclone Kiwi on top by a length and a half. Spirit Shadow rolls up on the outside. He's the early attacker in second. Clemson is now shuffled back into third, making their way midway on the turn. Meant to be shooter is next Hoosier chip. Couldn't use that rail advantage. He's a little bit sluggish now in fifth as they race past the stands. In at Hanover is next Rock and Row and St. Lad's Charger. The slugfest continues here. Cyclone Kiwi off the quarter. Wow, look at that. 26 and 1. Open $8,000. Claiming Pacers continue to do battle. Cyclone Kiwi bidding for career win. 49 is rolling right along. Spirit Shadow paid a heavy price in this one. 54 and 4. Action continues down the backstretch. Cyclone Kiwi has disposed of Spirit Shadow. Slipping through along the rail. Clemson after that comes meant to be shooter. As they approach three quarters. Moving up on the outside. Who's your chip further out? Comes Rock and Roll gaining nicely along the rail. Stacked up on the far outside in at Hanover. And St. Lad's Charger rolling by three quarters. This is unbelievable. 123 and 1. We'll see if the con cl closers can converge in. Here is Meant to Be Shooter coming off the rail and is up the challenge. They're in deep stretch. It is Cyclone Kiwi. Meant to Be Shooter. Clemson is looking for racing room late. The old man did it. Cyclone Kiwi, Clemson, meant to be shooter. Rock and roll in at Hanover. St. Lads, Charger, Spirit, Shadow, and Hoosier Chip in 151 and 3. And there they go. They're often pacing Calgary to the front. Prideful Keep by Secret, Ballard, Delta. Treacherous Beauty and Captain Carmelo wide on the far outside. As they race down the back stretch to the turn, Prideful comes away on top. Calgary rolls up on the outside second. Keep my secret behind this dueling duo in the third. After that comes Ballard Delta in fourth. Around the top turn, Treacherous Beauty. And Captain Carmelo rides the tailgate. No particular hurry right now. 28 and 4. They're racing past the stands. Action brewing once again. Here's prideful for Andy Miller brushing to the front. Calgary yields to the pocket second. A gapping keep my secret third. Ballard Delta is fourth. Treacherous Beauty about ready to strike out of fifth. And Captain Carmella can see them all. 
The top two begin to get away. It's prideful. They're at the halfway point, 58 and 3. She might have plenty left as they straighten out for their long journey down the back stretch. Prideful, full of pace by a length and a half. Doubled up in their second, Calgary, and she is just biding her time. The others have to pick up the chase as they roll into three quarters. Prideful by a length. Under a double purple baby, Nelson Calgary is in the second. Racing by three quarters in 127 and one around the final turn. And here comes Calgary up on the outside. And she is getting serious right now. Prideful will have to fight back inside the final eighth of a mile. From the outside, Calgary now stampedes into the lead. It is all Calgary. Here is a rocking chair drive for the Green Hornet. It is Calgary in hand and in command, followed by Prideful. Keep my secret treacherous beauty, Captain Carmella and Ballard Delta. The mile here in 154. And there they go. They're off fan pacing all you can eat between horses. A little bit rough in there and has jumped off stride, and that will leave Seaside Baby on top. The next three are all heads apart. Hungry for Love moves out of mid pack second. Followed by My Nene in third. Karis is up on the outside. Fourth and all you can eat. Fifth and last after that costly misstep. No particular hurry here. Quarter pole bound. Rail advantage for Trevor Smith and Seaside Baby. As they roll by the opening quarter in a soft 29 and 1. Past the stands, they roll to the half mile pole. Seaside Baby leads the way. Out into the middle of the racetrack. Hungry for Love is second. My Nene third. Karis is fourth. All you can eat got back into it as they roll through this lower turn and approach the half mile pole. Seaside Baby should have plenty left. Followed by Hungry for Love, the stalker in second. 58 and 3 up the back stretch. Seaside Baby by two. Hungry for Love, second by the same margin. My Nene ready, ready to strike out of third. Followed by Karis up on the outside. All you can eat. Still a little bit rough gated at the back of the pack. Ding dong battle starting here by three quarters. Here comes Hungry for Love. Up to challenge the every step pace setter Seaside Baby. As they race by three quarters in 126 and four. Around the final turn. By a neck along the rail. It is still Seaside Baby. Hungry for Love. My Nene in with a puncher's chance. They're in deep stretch and Hungry for Love has taken over. It is Hungry for Love. My Nene close for second. The one hold second seaside, baby. My Nene third. Karis was fourth and all you can eat fifth and a tough one. 154 and two. And there they go. They're off fan pacing. Mr. Tenneke, day trader on the far outside. Can't stop Lou up to challenge early on as they race down the back stretch. If you don't know me by now, base dealer settles down. Wide and driving on the outside. No partners is the trailer. Taking over command on the outside. Day trader a length and a half. Mr. Tenneke. Stung him pretty good in second. Gap of two. Can't stop Lou third. As they pace by the opening quarter with no change in position. Moving past the stands. Doug McNair and Day Trader lead the way. Mr. Tenneke being carted along nicely. Here comes the big colt moving up on the outside. Can't stop Lou if you don't know me by now. Has flushed that live cover and moves up on the outside for Terry Skinner. Base dealer got trapped along the rail up on the outside of no partners. They're side by side and stride for stride. And they're at the half and 57 and 1. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Bidding for the cart trick. It's Yannick and can't stop Lou by half a length. If you don't know me by now, draws alongside in second. Day Trader got shuffled back in third. Mr. Tenneke nowhere to go in fourth. Up on the outside, no partners, and trailing the field, base stealer. Double-deckered, racing by three-quarters. 
can't stop Lewis just yet. He opens up well in hand right now. Three quarters clicked off in 126 and one. Field makes her way to the top of the stretch. Can't stop Lewis well in hand right now. Can't stop Lou cuts the corner with a widening four length advantage. Day Trader is back on the attack. Mr. Tenick, he had a pretty good effort jumping off strike. Can't stop Lou and everybody. Please hold all tickets. The breaking three at the wire with six day trader and Mr. Tenneke, base stealer, no partners. And if you don't know me by now, please hold all tickets. Field is in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting cash. Amigos in between horses takes the lead with multinational. Here comes over and back, widest of all on the far outside, Yo Lucky Money. As they trot to the opening quarter mile pole, G-Load is next, Espresso. A gap of 10 lengths to the early trailer, Slate Valley Diamond. As they move by the opening quarter, trotting away on top, it's over and back who leads the way. Over and back cuts this one out. Three deep now as they move past the stands. Moving up on the outside, Cash Amigos. The Pocky Center is multinational. Gap of three. Yo, Lucky Money is fourth. Followed by G Load in fifth. Espresso comes to the outside. And Slate Valley Diamond. They're at the halfway point. Rolling right along. It is over and back. Who leads the way? Cash Amigos has jumped off straight on the outside. They cover the half in 59 and 1. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Five hour hub to hub and sweeping up on the outside. Espresso now sticks his nose, his head, his neck in front. He might be long gone now. Espresso moves to the rail as they approach three quarters with a two length lead. Over and back tries to fight back. Multinational is third as they wend their way around the final turn. G load is up on the outside. Fuddled by Yo Lucky Money. The trailers midway on the turn are Cash Amigos and Slate Valley Diamond by three quarters and 128 and three. Top of the stretch. They're in the stretch. Espresso brings this guy on home. It is Espresso on top by a widening three while well in hand. Over and back is second. Here comes Yo Lucky Money. Too little, too late. Third. Multinational fourth, G Load was fifth, Cash Amigo sixth, and Slate Valley Diamond, unofficial in 157 and four. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Border Control is in between horses, followed by Duwa's Boy and Corner of Virgin along the rail as they sprint down the back stretch. And here comes Send It in Jerome to take over. Send it in Jerome in front by a length and a half. Corner of Virgin settles down in second. In between horses, border control 30 bypasses the hole. Fox Valley Oscar takes that position. As they move midway on the opening turn, Duwa's boy is fifth. By the opening quarter here in a strong 28 and two fifths. As they race past the stands out on top, it's send it in Jerome well in hand right now. Border Control is second, Corner of Virgin third, Fox Valley Oscar comes to the outside, directing traffic is into the flow. Duwa's boy is next, the magician catches this equine train in seventh, and dude, Joe McDo with some work to do, they're hub to hub at the half mile pole, rolling right along, it is send it in Jerome who leads away, 58 and four, breather for Spano on the front end, would send it in Jerome, lapped on him in second. Fox Valley Oscar, nowhere to go for the early pace setter. Border control, stacked up on the outside. Moo Randy D, and here comes Moo Randy D with an equine drive-by. Directing traffic up on the outside. Send it in Jerome, fighting back. Here comes Joe McDude, winding it up on the extreme outside. Border control comes off the rail, and he has some pace. Might be down to these four. By three quarters in 128, they're fanned out four wide on the drive to the wire. Directed traffic is in the center. Joe McDude is up on the far outside. Border control finally shakes free. Ding dong battle here. 
Oh, seven, directing traffic. Five, border control, tight for show. It's tight on the wind and very close here in 156 and three. Noses on the finish line. Number eight is our therapist with Dale Heitman and the Sulky all on gate, approaching the start. Field is in motion, and there they go. They're off and trotting five stars. The one has jumped off stride on the rail. Whole nother will inherit the lead down the backstretch. Also off stride, that is full strength. As they move to the quarter mile pole, out on top with an easy two length advantage. Whole nother will cut this one out. Long trail settles in there, second around the top turn. Faithful following his third, followed by Bro Door away nicely into fourth. After that comes Shamba as they race by the opening quarter. Our therapist is next. Whole nother trails the field as they come past the stands. Out winging with a length and a half advantage. Whole nother leads away. Long trail second. Faithful following third. Brogue Door still in net fourth. Followed by Shamba in fifth. Our therapist is next. Five stars the early breaker as well as the trailer. Full strength to his back in stride. Seven. Roll to the half mile pole on gate. They cover the half. In one minute and one fifth. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Whole nother trying to make every pole a winning one leads the way. Followed by Long Trail, the stalker in second. Faithful following is into third. Shamba's up on the outside. Five stars fought his way back into it. Bro Dur is sixth. Our therapist seventh. And full strength can see them all. Seven are double deckered as they hit three quarters. Whole nother continues to lead the way. He's got them doubled up inside. Here comes five stars, three wide off of cover. Looking, looking, looking for racing room, long trail as they make their way to the top of the stretch. Going a big dial, it's whole another with the lead. Five stars, what a mile this guy's going, but he's going to be not quite good enough today. Whole another coast to coast. Five stars with second, Bro Dur, a huge effort from third. Long trail, faithful following. Shamba. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Burning rubber will test the waters on the far outside. KJ Osmer and Scarlet Gray. They're also into the early flow as they make their way through that first turn. Scarlet Gray on top. Here's burning rubber. Four wide on the far outside. Crosswind Layla has now joined the early action. She's hung out to dry, followed by Getaway closing up in between horses. No rail advantage for Diamond Diesel as they move to the quarter mile pole. K.J. Osmer is up on the outside as they fly by this opening quarter. Pretty Boy Shooter is next. And Dash 1 as they race past the stands to the half mile pole. Burning rubber under a hammer lock cuts this one out. 27 and 4, crosswind Layla second, Diamond Diesel. He is pumped up as he drives up on the outside around the clubhouse turn. Burning rubber, Diamond Diesel at his wheel, disc in second, crosswind Layla third. Scarlet Ray buried in along the rail, moving out from between horses. KJ Osmer up on the outside. Here comes Getaway, a gap of three to Pretty Boy Shooter. Nothing today yet from Dash 1. They pace the half in 58-1. and one. Burnin' Rubber will try to go all the way today. Burnin' Rubber trying to make every polo when he won. Diamond Diesel flattens out his shade. Along the rail crosswind, Layla is third. K.J. Osmer is next. Getaway will have to come three wide at some junction. After that comes Scarlet Gray along the rail. Pretty Boy Shooter and Dash 1. By three quarters and 127 and four. Off the turn in the stretch. They're on their way home. Burning rubber being set down for the drive. Diamond Diesel. Crosswind Layla is up on the far outside. Diamond Diesel. We gave him up for dead, but he's going to score. It is Diamond Diesel. Crosswind Layla. And it is really close for the show to win here. One. 
And there they go. They're off in pacing. America's Fleet between horses. Big Bach gaining quickly along the rail. Can't You See is up on the outside. Can't You See now grabs the racetrack. Big Mock is settled down in second. Wide and driving Swiss Bank Hanover. Parked and moving up on the outside. Followed by America's Fleet along the rail. After that, Hayeswood Ron. Two more to Elocutionist and... Trailing the field as they round this top turn, Dragon Fever. Pacing by the opening quarter, strong, 27-2. and two. two wide past the stands, and the speed duel continues. Swiss Bank Hanover on the outside of Can't You See. Big Mock licking his chops in third, followed by America's Fleet in fourth. Hayeswood Ron is now settled down in fifth, but it now explodes to the outside. They're at the half mile pole, Elocutionist and Dragon Fever. Action galore here, 55 and 4 up the back stretch. Big Mock is just about ready to challenge the every step pace setter. Can't you see? Can't you see? Big Mock inches off the pylons. Swiss Bank Hanover has called it an afternoon. Unfortunate trip for him. America's fleet is going to be the real danger in here. As they side wheel by three quarters, Big Mock on the outside. Can't you see his next? Here comes America's Fleet with no excuse moving up on the far outside. Here comes Elocutionist into the late flow. Three quarters and 125. Jamal Denson is rocking and rolling. He is all over Big Mock. Here's America's Fleet up on the outside. Big Mock fighting back. America's Fleet. It is going to be Big Mock. Big Mock wins at America's Fleet second. Can't you see next photograph for fifth in 153 and four?